Hello there. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, configure the uh, Triggers Plus ChatGDP uh, integration. Uh, so after you install the app from the marketplace, there will be an icon shown here on the uh, on the left sidebar. Uh, this is the you click on the icon and you get to the configuration screen. Here you start by creating a new workflow. Okay, so uh, a workflow starts by selecting the trigger. So remember the the app works by integrating Zendesk triggers with, with the charge PT uh, prompts. You start by creating a trigger. Every time a ticket is being created, there will be a charge PT action run here. You can pick from the actions here. I'm going to use the extract value action. These actions are predefined prompts that we set up for common use cases in automating uh, aspects of ticket handling in uh, Zendesk. You select the predefined action, you're invited to enter the OpenAI API key. You need to have an uh, OpenAI account uh, to integrate with. You put the OpenAI key here, you save it, and then in the next step, you're being asked to configure this extract value action. So what, what is this action? Every time a new ticket is created, it's looking at the ticket comment and pulls certain information from the ticket comment and store it in the ticket field. So for example, let's say the customer refers to the order number in his message. What ChatGPT can do is he gets the message and extracts the order number. And he can do quite complex rules using this approach. So here you say, okay, extract the value from the last customer comment. You need to give a name to what to extract. So let's say is the order number. And here you, need, you don't need to set up complex regular expressions or complex rules. All you need to do is to tell ChatGPT what the order number is looking uh, like. So basically describe it in plain English how this looks like. So let's say it's a text between 10 and 15 characters. It starts with BT followed by 10 digits. And you give an example here. You can have many rules in, uh, added here. So it will consider each of the rules when looking for the order number. So this workforce, uh, again, starts by uh, when, when a new ticket is created, it is going to go and extract the order number from the last customer comment here. And then the output should feed into a Zendesk action, right? So it should update the ticket with this value. So you have a couple of choices here. You have the option to tag the ticket, but obviously you don't want to tag the ticket with the order number. What you need here is you need to add the order number as a, as a custom field value. So you select this custom field value. From here, you pick the custom field. We already wrote the custom field from your Zendesk account. So it's the order number. And then all oh, is good to go. And you click save. You give it a name, of course. Order number. You enable it and you click save. So the moment you click save, what this is going to do is going to create a new trigger in your Zendesk account for this particular workflow. So if you click view trigger, you can go and see the trigger in Zendesk. Here. Yeah, you can see the trigger here. And if you want, you can even adjust the conditions, add more filters. Maybe you want to restrict it to a given brand. And you know, you can do whatever is possible in the triggers, setting up filters, conditions, so on, you can do here. Um, I'm gonna close this now. We're back here. So this is the order number workflow. It's all good to go. Now we're gonna watch a demo, okay? So let's say we are a customer. I'm gonna enable this, by the way, so yeah. This is enabled. So we are a customer complaining we have the wrong shoe size. Okay, so here we say we receive my shoes. The order number is this, but the size doesn't match. Okay, so can you assist? I'm going to send this to my support email address. And now if we go to Zendesk, let's wait for the ticket here to arrive. It takes a couple of seconds. Okay. There is a ticket and now we need to wait for the whole process to run. So the moment the ticket is created, there will be a new uh, a trigger sending the ticket to the app, to the Triggers GPT app, and the app will send a message to ChatGPT saying extract the order number according to the description you gave earlier. And then it is going to get the output from the ChatGPT uh, prompt. It's going to go exactly here, like you see here, it's going to go into the order number field. Uh, it's as simple as that. There is no coding required. There is no complex regular expressions. You just 
instruct ChatGPT how you want to extract, how, how you want it to behave. So I'm going to go back here to my app. Extract information from a tick is just one of the use cases. There are a couple of others. If I click new workflow here, you can create a new trigger or reuse existing triggers. It's more efficient to reuse existing triggers actually. And this time I'm going to go categorized. Okay. So I'm going to categorize the last customer comment. What categorized does is it's going to classify a ticket comment based on a list of possible topics, right? Then you can use it to automatically tag tickets with contact reasons. Let's say you have one category, you create one category here, you give the name, let's say, where is my order? And then what you have to do is explain in plain English with some examples, if you have what the category is about. That's all you need to do. You don't need to give lots of training data and lots of examples. You just give it an example or two and describe it what it is. Okay. And then let's create another category this time. Let's call it tracking issues. This is the description of the category. Again, you give it a small example. Then you can create a customer for a frustrated category and say customer is very frustrated. These are my three categories. You can have many categories in the same ticket comment. And then what ChatGPT will do, it will get the ticket comment classified in all of these categories or none, if there is none of them applying, uh, then the app is going to get the response and decide to update the ticket and add a tag to the ticket with these values here. That's all. I'm going to save this workflow and call it classification. Okay. Enable it and save. And again, this is going to reuse the same trigger. Um, going to change a bit the message here. I'm going to create a new message here. It's a message about my order. Thanks, Tony. So my shoes didn't arrive. Please help order uh, BT. I'm going to click send. A new ticket will be created in Zendesk. So I'm going to go here waiting for my ticket. Okay, it takes a few seconds. Okay, that's my ticket. What the app is going to do is going to extract the order number, as you saw, see here, and also is automatically tagging the ticket with the topic extractive, the where is my order topic. Yeah, this is it. So finally, there is another thing that might be useful is when you create a new workflow, you select the trigger and you can choose a custom prompt from here. And here you can decide to add whatever you want. So whatever use case you might have, let's say you want to extract the feedback, right? You want the ChatGPT to read the ticket comment, decide if there is any feedback, on some of your products. If there is feedback, I summarize it as a, as a private comment. So you can do this easily. This is the prompt, determine if the customer is providing any feedback on a range of products. If she does, then please summarize the feedback. Okay, and this is the message from the customer. If there is no feedback, just respond with an empty text. When ChatGPT returns an empty text, the app is not gonna take any action. Now the output from ChatGPT is gonna go into a comment here as an internet note. Then I'm going to, so this is product feedback um, and I'm going to reuse the same trigger as before. And that's it. That's what you can do with the, with the app. We'll be adding more use cases soon. Thanks.